Hello everybody, good evening, welcome to the United Stands, I'm Mark Goldbridge and this is your latest Manchester United news. In fact, it's not, well it is, but it's not, because actually it's a watch-along and I've just remembered that. So welcome to this Carabao Cup watch-along, where I'm in extremely happy with Eric Ten Hag's side that he's picked tonight. I don't know about you, but I'm very, very happy with it. I think it's exactly the right team to pick um, and I think that we've got a lot to be happy about. And I think that it will upset a lot of the Ten Hag outers because he's made the changes and that is what needed to happen. And he's done it. And uh, I'm very, very happy with it. Like Jake says, best lineup yet. Look, you get beat in a derby. Players haven't been playing well. Some people need a rest. I don't, I think some people have been dropped. Some people have been rested. Um, but ultimately, I think that's the best 11 he can pick. Varane shouldn't play tonight, so I've got no problem with Maguire playing next to Lindoff. He could have played Evans. I don't really care. Hannibal needs to be careful here. Mason Mounts just told him to calm down. Hannibal needs to be careful here because he's on a yellow card and uh, is given a foul. But let me have a look. Like, yeah, yeah. Some referees might have given him a yet second yellow there. They might have done. Let's have a look. Uh, it's not bad, but they might have done it. He just needs to calm down. Like AK says, Hannibal needs to calm down. Um, I mean, Ten Hag might look at that and go, you can't take him off yet, but um, he, Ryan, like Ryan Powell says, he seems to get booked every game. Gary Neville says he should be off. What, what, what is it about Gary Neville? Does he just not support Man United? He's just so bloody negative, isn't he? He's probably sat there with a Newcastle scar top under under his coat. I don't. He just seems to be very unbiased to a, to an extent where it comes across as anti-United. Like, I don't think he should have been sent off. I think that's actually good refereeing. But. It just needs to calm down a little bit. You don't you don't send somebody off for two yellow card tackles. I mean that's that's silly. You know, you've got to give him a bit of leeway. He's given him a yellow card because it was, you know, a tough 50-50 with long stuff, long staff. This is a breakaway. Maybe he's got to be really careful. Mount's weak as well. Fucking terrible that is. This should be 1-0. What a goal by Newcastle. I mean, that is just a knife through butter. You know, United defensively there, you may as well get a Tesco meal deal. It'd do a better job. It's it's like snails on holiday. It's it's like saving, snailing Private Ryan. Rubbish. Absolutely. That doesn't even make sense. Um, yeah, you've got to look at, you've got to look at the midfield there and, uh, you know, Shocking, shocking from Mount and and uh, you know, it's it's just terrible defensively, and they've they've dealt with it really really well, but um, yeah, that, that's that's fucking crap. That is crap. I mean, look, Ganacho loses the ball. Yeah, that's not good. But um, yeah, Mason Mount, it's not. It may as well be a traffic cone there. There comes a point where you have to question the manager. They're just not playing for him, says Ben. Oh, here they come. Here they come. They've been, they've been silent, haven't they? They've been silent since the team news came out. And now the players aren't playing for the manager. Mott says, Delo didn't... I mean, on the goal, if he wasn't booked, I think he'd have put a tackle in. Goal! Fucking hell! It's 2-0. And it's an absolute cracking goal. I don't know who it is. It's Hall. What? A, I mean, that's just a worldie. Absolute worldie. Um, you know, we should have took Hannibal off 10 minutes ago. He can't put a tackle in because he's on a yellow card. And again, he won't put a tackle in because he's on a yellow card. And this time it's an absolute worldie. And I tell you what, we hoped tonight to put a cat amongst the magpies instead of the pigeons. Well, the magpies are killing the cat. It's, um, it's a very good goal by Newcastle. I mean, it, it, it's hard for Anana to save this. It's right in the bottom corner. Defensively, Maguire heads it away and it goes straight off. Oh, well, Maguire gets an assist, but realistically, yeah, I think Hannibal, 
it's just it's a good goal. It's a good goal. I can't argue with that. Mark, lo love your content. I'm for the He took Casemiro off. Oh for fuck's sake, what? What's he doing? I don't I don't even understand now. Is he sabotaging his own job? I don't fucking get it. Oh, I, I'm I'm completely uh, utterly stunned here. Could he only play 45 minutes, maybe? I don't know. I just don't know. Help ten Eric. Ah uh, Eric, I'm desperately trying to keep you in a job here. You know, give me a little bit of help. Selfish players, Eric Ten Hag in. I mean, this is ridiculous, Brian. Brian, it's ridiculous. I'm absolutely fed up. Absolutely fed up with people shooting from the edge of the box. I'm absolutely fed up. It's been going on for ages. Stop fucking shooting from 30 yards out. You're not fucking Ronaldo. I don't mind one or two a game, but we've had about five already. Stop fucking shooting. Ganacho, you're not even good at it either. That's the thing. It's not even like you go, ooh, that was close. Ganacho not playing well, but needs a run in the team to make an impact, says Rashid. He's just, I feel like a jinx. I was going to say Amrabat's had a good game, but he's just, uh, oh, for fuck's sake. What the fuck are these centre backs doing? What? What's the point of that? What, what, is, what are Maguire and Lindelof doing here? What are they doing? Absolute snails. They belong in a fucking lettuce pack. A cabbage patch. The cabbage patch, kids. Fucking snails hiding behind lettuce leaves. That is terrible. Like, what are they? They just stand off. Absolute shite. I can't, I can't believe they stand off in there. Look, watch this go. Look, Amrabat... Has had a good game when he, since he's come on, but he gets tackled. I mean, I don't know whether that's actually a foul by Joel Linton, but Maguire and Lindelof, look, that's a foul on Maguire as well. Team, it, 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 You know, you can clip me on this as well. All the people who's, who, who were going on about United are a better team with Harry Maguire in it. You know, Tim Sherwood, FC, and everybody else. His stats were because he was playing in easy games. He's played against Man City and he's played against Newcastle and we've shipped six goals. Like, he is not the answer for Manchester United. And I wish the British press would wake up and smell the coffee. Harry Maguire is not the answer for Manchester United. It's surprising that this is happening. It's disappointing. It's not, it's not surprising. You know, at the end of the day, the club is shit. I know people in the club, they're demoralised, they're demotivated. You know, the Glazers have destroyed it. The stadium is rusting. The infrastructure is poor. You know, we overplay. We overpay for shit players. Yeah, the whole the club is what it is. Like I said, it at the weekend. We are the ninth best team in the Premier League. This is what we are. And Glazers out says Tom. And we're officially a med table team with a huge fan base. I don't even think Fulham plays this bad, says Brian. Mate, I'd, I'd put Fulham. I genuinely, genuinely would put Fulham as favourites on on Saturday lunchtime. I mean, what part of you thinks we're favourites in that game? Um, yeah, I genuinely would.